Welcome everybody to today's stream. I have a special guest here for you very soon. Welcome, welcome. Post your countries in chat. Post your, post your countries. We want to see how international this community is, all right? Welcome, welcome. I'm sitting in Bratislava right now. All right, quick little introduction. We'll be having a guest on today, okay? And I'll be introducing all that in a second, but also there's going to be a competition that is happening inside of our Discord right now. So you can find link a link to the Discord in the description. All the details soon. Three times $100 plus three times 20% off the Wirestock plan. That's a little tease. See you there soon. Wow, look at that chat. Scotland, Zimbabwe, Armenia, USA, Miami, Zurich, Turkey, USA, Canada, all over the place. El Paso, man. Isn't this great? America. Good stuff. Ah, the song is coming to an end. Let's begin soon, huh? <laughs> Two people from the moon in here. Good, good to hear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's live stream. We have a bit of a special program for you. It's going to be a little more interactive, a little more active. We have a guest, we have a competition all going on at the same time. Let me introduce all of this at the same time to you. All right. First things first, this stream is sponsored by Wirestock, but not just sponsored. We're kind of partnering up. As you've seen in, in past videos, our interests are fully aligned because both of us are very interested and very enthusiastic about AI art. And that's why today I'll have Eric, which is responsible for all the content, all the content submissions um, and all the content they put out from Wirestock coming onto the, uh, onto the screen right now. So with that being said, let me hit this button. Eric, you are now visible. What's up? How are you doing? Awesome. Thank you, Igor, so much for having me. It's very exciting to be here. Hi, chat. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah, so we can see all of your chats. It's wonderful to hear. Look at all these countries, man. There's people from the moon, people from Malaysia, Scotland, the Red Planet, India, Tunisia, Austria, Christian Thüringer. Shout out to you. That's where I grew up. That's where I kind of live. It's, it's Annette, Norway. This is wonderful. So let me wrap this up for you. Let me, let me introduce the whole... Uh, program for today because we have a lot of things planned okay this is going to be all about ai art and specifically selling ai art so what ai art sells we're going to be talking stock photography we're going to be talking mid journey 5.2 we're going to be talking stock photography in the ai art niche okay so if you don't know um, then you should should know, but hey, let me catch you up. Wirestock is a company that helps you sell your AI art or stock photography easily. No need to resubmit to different platforms. They handle all that for you. But this is, uh, but we're going to be tackling multiple topics here, okay? That's not going to be the only topic. We're also going to be talking about the new features in MidJourney. We'll also be talking about the bots they developed, which is really cool. You can upscale things inside of Discord with ease as opposed to, you know, taking them and, and using various websites. So there's a lot to talk about. But before we get into some of the topics, let me take a minute here to introduce the contest that is going on simultaneously. They were kind enough to sponsor the competition that, we're, that we have going on. So for everybody in chat right now, all 142 people, you can head on over to the AI Advantage Discord right now. In the description, there's a link, okay? If you enter the Discord, let me give you a quick rundown. I'm going to share my screen. This is going to be the easiest way to do it. If you enter the Discord, we set up two channels for you, okay? In one, you can generate. In the second one, you can submit your images. So you have an hour to submit. I'll give you the theme in a second here, okay? I'll give you the theme in a second. But you have an hour to submit. Well, 45 minutes. And at the end of the stream, we're going to be looking at that. And then Eric over here is going to be getting a vote. 
I'm going to be getting a vote and the community inside of the Discord will be getting a vote. So you get to both submit and vote on the best submissions and the three best ones, $100 to each one of you. For the runner-ups, honorable mentions, you know, second pick for each one of us, you're going to be getting 20% of the premium plan with Wirestock. But yeah, that's essentially it. So let me quickly show you how to participate in this thing. We're going to have a little interactive uh, stream. So as you can see, uh, the guys are hanging out in the events room in here, but yeah, we're telling everybody to move on over to YouTube because that's where all the action is today. But what's going on here, if you're going to join the server, if you have already joined the server, up at the top right now, you can see the AI art challenge. Okay, in the AI art challenge, there's two channels. First of all, there's submissions. <laughs> Z leading the way here with a, with a little, little gif. But the point is, here you can submit. You have the next 45 minutes to submit. And here you can generate. So you could go ahead and say, you know, imagine. Also, you can use Blue Willow. We have Blue Willow insti uh, installed inside of our server if you, if you do not have Midjourney. So all you need to do is just, uh, yeah, use the, use the fitting command for Blue Willow. Uh, the mods, yeah, this is Blue Willow. So there you go. This one would be if you don't have a Midjourney subscription. And now you can generate things. Now, what is the theme for today? Because we're not going to be judging this just freely, just best AI art. No, we're talking about AI art that sells. So, Eric, we talked about this, but the AI art, art that sells, it's not just, it's, it's not just anything. If you're going to be generating images of a pen, images of a spoon, even in stock photography, stock videography, that's probably not going to do so well, right? Mm. I mean... I like how this one person in the chat says that he can do this in five minutes, which is really commendable, but I don't think you can. We will be judging very like, uh, I mean, Igor will be judging on a conceptual size, like how creative uh, you've done it, how creatively you've done it. But I'm going to be judging really uh, on the technical side. So be very careful because I'm very judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be at those Watch like, out. Okay. 40 teeth and, you know, six fingers and the all kinds of deformities so be careful and you don't even know the topic yet so yeah yeah can now i guess so for anybody who paid close attention i just typed the topic out in the chat box okay mm -hmm. we're going to be generating images of a once in a lifetime moment today what does that mean interpretation is up to you judging is up to us for anybody who follows the channel you might know my preferences i have a videography background i like crazy things that are out there, you know? For example, uh, when we brainstormed, like what would be interesting, you know? Maybe a surfer riding a wave of lava down a mountain would be kind of cool. I mean, if you're gonna do that, then, then probably it, it's, it's probably not gonna win because we gave you the idea already. But just, just to know in what direction I personally think, you know, I love extreme sports. I love like visually stunning pieces. Eric is gonna be judging on the technical side of things. And the community is going to do what the community does. So this is the second part of it. So again, theme is once in a lifetime moment. Okay, something that you come across once in a lifetime and then you remember it forever and you, you tell your grandkids about that moment. Um, uh, if you go to submissions, you can send the images into here and then imagine you can generate them. But in submissions, you're going to see uh, there's going to be reactions and the one with the most stars, the image with the most stars is going to win this. So... That is the, I'll, I'll post it one more time uh, inside of the YouTube chat so everybody knows. Once in a lifetime moment. Theme for today. And then again, in about 45 minutes, we'll get to judging that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we'll have a little chit chat. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> nice. This is, oh, uh, this, that's always that overlay. So. There we go. Eric, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Let me just start things off with a question that I should have asked right away. How are you doing? How are you feeling today? Feeling great. Kind of hot today in Armenia, but really good. I'm really excited to be here and excited to hear the comments and the chat. They are saying that my audio isn't not good, but is it not good though, I think guys? you're good. I think you're perfectly good. Sometimes people are a little overly critical. Guys, that is perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, I, I would say I had one of those hot days during the weekend. I, I think I left my little like studio layer for the first time in a while. And I went, I went to, uh, to do some sports, uh, at a, at a local lake. I did some kite surfing. That was, that's still inside of my head, um, highlight of my past week. But ever since I've been sitting here and then doing all things AI, talk about all things AI. I would like to start with one topic that piqued the interest of everybody inside of the community. Uh, including myself 
Mid Journey came out with yet another update. I mean, what is yeah. that pace of innovation? They keep they keep releasing bomb after bomb. What do you make of it? It's really impressive on our side. Really impressive, and they keep renovating things. I mean, it's, it becomes really easy to get what you what you envision initially, but to get more specific things, you still have to have that you know photography background. You have to have the like creative vision and all that things. But yeah, what I like about Mid Journey is they make it really easy for uh, just a simple normal person to use it and get into it uh in you know it's really hard to get into other models like stable diffusion for example for me it's pretty confusing when you look at it like the interface and all that all yep. those things but i agree Mid-Journey is the, doing the great favor to all the people that just want to get into art maybe maybe they've never created art and they it makes makes them feel good that they actually created something from their mind it's really great and that's why it's yeah really popular these days i think and I, yeah i think creative so people are gonna be are gonna rejoice more and less creative people will get creative with time this is why i like it it's it's making a cultural you know innovation in sort of way so yeah and i like what you touched on there with the various models because there is many models out there right and and the funny thing is like a lot of people get get it confused and they're like oh there's like there's like 50 models out there guys there's essentially like yeah, you can count them on one hand, I would say, right? Because all of those like forty-five or out of the fifty that 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 people consider like various models are just different uh, shades of of, of um, stable diffusion, like different yeah. ways they have been trained. So and and a lot is possible there, right? It can be very deep. You can train it locally. You can you can yeah. do a lot of things, but still, like Midjourney just killed it on on their development there i think there's nobody i'm open to hearing the opinion a uh, founded opinion of somebody arguing that another model is you know more aesthetic than mid journey in, in, in the category of you know aesthetic kind of quality and prowess it just it just takes the crown right now um but hey you can you can use all other um apps inside the discord and you can submit anything to the challenge so there you go. People are generating stuff already. Once in a lifetime moment. I like how people just use once in a slash imagine once in a lifetime moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that might not that might not make the cut. But anyway, so I, I think that's super interesting. So various models, Mid Journey 5.2 coming out. What do you make of that zoom out feature? Have you used it yet? I played it with it a bit. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it essentially does what the Photoshop did with the beta program. I don't know how many people have heard of it. It's really good. But when you, uh, you know, you played, played with, with more with it, I mean, you try to zoom out and out and out. It tries to like fit in some things in it in itself, like a person, it would try to fit a person within a person and sort of make it like a robot right in another person which kind of ruined for me, but still pretty good. I mean, it's really good for nature generations. I mean, and people with, you know, on the runways, fashion shots, that kind of things. Uh, but I, I've seen some really good examples, like cinematic examples that we've been getting at Wirestock of nature shots that are really in-depth when you zoom in on them. And we've never seen that stuff before because it was not an option before to zoom, uh -huh. to zoom in in the future but now it's really good and we people get really detailed images like that and that's what i like it yeah like about it and actually i wanted to share i wanted to share like a technique that i've um i've seen across the internet well actually i've seen it once and and as i have my video background i know i know how it works people generate like a tight shot and they use something like an 85 yeah. millimeter uh, inside of the yeah. prompt and then they start zooming out like multiple times and they create like you know they go all the way to like an ultra wide like 12 mil or something and you can stitch those images together either inside of photoshop to increase the resolution or you can do it even if inside of like after effects and then you have like this like wait wait i can actually do it i have a zoom lens this like continuous zoom out effect you know this <laughs> like whoa <laughs> that kind of that kind of thing. So, so you get to really do that, and that is enabled by the zoom out effect. So, you know, for anybody who didn't know, you can you can zoom out and, and get more resolution like that. Right, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So you get the initial quality of your close up shot, and then you keep zooming out, and then you still get you get the zoom out quality and the zooming quality, close up quality as well, which is really good. Let me, yeah. let me do let me do one more zoom here. That's that's a little better. 
yeah, so I, I think it's absolutely amazing. I can't wait for like the next big model. I'm always like looking forward to like the V6 update, obviously. But mm. yeah, I mean, and that brings brings me into another topic. And that is, you know, so people go in there, they generate amazing arts, they generate like very pretty visuals, they, they, they you know, uh, there's a lot of, you know, controversy and discussions. And I think that that's a fair topic, but, um, but they just render a piece of imagery. They, they create a JPEG that, a JPEG that is, that is really pretty. And now obviously, as most people might know, Wirestock allows you to, to sell those on stock marketplaces, but not all stock, stock marketplaces are created equal. Not all of them accept AI art. Right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? What is what is the discussion there? I know you're in close contact with the various stock marketplaces, and you kind of we can hear it like firsthand. What's the discussion there, and what are the issues that they bring up? Once this AI, this whole AI thing blew up, I mean, all the agencies obviously panicked. They got they were getting like bombarded with those AI generated imagery, and they like promptly just stopped accepting them. I mean, lots of agencies, lots of giants like Shutterstock, Getty Images. They, they've been developing their own AI techniques to yeah. the, for users to, uh, I mean, generate images on their side and not to upload them. And yeah, that's what Shutterstock and Getty did. But Adobe Stock, 1-3RF and uh, Freepik uh, and one of the biggest and greatest agencies and money, I mean, income channels that we work with, uh, they allowed it. But through thousands and thousands of messages, through many, many calls with them, for us to be very careful with it to you know make sure that all the property releases all the you know model releases are uh, uh, up to guidelines that they pr provide and yeah it's really really tough for them but um we still keep yeah. to our vision like our initial vision when we started uh for four years ago that we just want to make creators earn money that's it we it just brings us joy that's it i mean uh, it's funny that we just started in this room right now that I'm sitting. It's it's a uh, one of our uh, co-founders' studio. It's in the, it's an office studio. He just recreate he just remade this to, to the studio, and it was just four of us. And when whenever uh, ever, any creator would get a sale here, we would just cheer and like clap, be like really happy for him. But now we get thousands of sales every day, and we can't really afford to do that now. That's sick. Yeah, we don't have that much time anymore, and it would be a mess to do that. But yeah, it's every time it brings us joy. Every time we see a successful creator, every time we see a success story, we always like get a little, you know, excited every time, yeah. and our day gets better and better. Yeah, and we still try to find new channels to for our creators, new you know ways to earn money. Whether it be through explore page, whether it would be to you know selling your prompts, uh, maybe getting gigs, you know, maybe we will add the button that that will say just hire me as a prompt engineer, or maybe if you're a photographer, hire me as a photographer. It's those there are many many low hanging fruits that we should really do, and we are doing. Many many cool things are coming. Yeah, you've uh, been, you've uh, been going really yeah. like wild on on the whole front of features. You kind of like you hopped on the AI art wave, and you were like, yeah, this is this is it. This is this is happening, and this is not going anywhere. That's why that's why I, I just want to say that's why I personally also resonated with you guys, and I was like, hey, these guys get it because you're you're like you like see the direction. Like this isn't going anywhere. This is just like the first inning. And, and exactly a lot of people are like, oh, no, maybe uh, uh, it's the, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Of course, that's what technology does. Technology messes things up a lot, like tremendously. Like whenever iPhone came out, you remember that? I mean, everybody was going crazy. Oh, you can't just control it with your finger. That's crazy. You know, everything yeah. will mess up with technology. I, but I remember so that's well. Why, that's why people need to have visions. That's why companies need to have like vision, need to know what they're doing. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I know exactly what we are going to do with this or all those AI images. We are still trying to, you know, adapt. We are still trying to make the best way to, you know, make our creators happy. Yeah. So that's our initial vision. That's the core of Wirestock. So, yeah, um, yeah that's that's, pro that's pretty much it. it. So, dude, th th man, there's like four points I would love to touch on there. But, but one that, like, for me personally... I have a little story to share from uh, for, with like the iPhone and the touchscreen because this is what I think that was that what changed my view on technology forever. I remember when I was like 11, I had one of those Sony Ericsson phones with like a two megapixel uh, camera. That was I think it was my second phone. I got my first one of 10, and then then I got 
like I think with 11, I had a second one because I had to go to to the city uh, by myself and like it was a bit of a bus ride and everything. And, and all of a sudden I had my first phone and it had like buttons and a two megapixel camera. So that's when, where my video journey started. But I remember a uh-huh. friend of mine got like this touchscreen phone, right? It was like the very first, and it wasn't the touchscreen. It was like a... It was, you, you know, the pen, right? No, that no, it, it was first, there was the pen once and this one was like, it was the first like legit like touch screen, but it was more like a, you know, like hammer it really hard with your finger and, and hope that it, it recognizes it. And I remember uh-huh. back then, I think I was 11 or 12 at that point. I, I was on my second phone already. I was, you know, like experienced phone connoisseur. And I was like, yeah. man, those touch screens are never gonna catch on, never ever, you know, like as confident as could be, as confident as as like a, you know, a 12 year old with a phone. I was like, that's never ever happening. You know, like you you can't even, it doesn't, this is a stupid idea. Yeah, Yeah, like what, like look, my buttons, they just work. I'm like, I know all of it by heart. I press uh, a one three times if I wanna type the C and I just, I'm really fast at it. Dude, then the iPhone came out and it was like, wait a minute it's the same technology but it's not the same technology it just evolved and that is that is one like i always remember that moment i always think back to that moment like man i couldn't have been any more confident in the statement that that's not going anywhere because i was judging what i saw right there but i there was no vision right and I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not judging my 11 year old self. Like, fair enough. But there was like no vision to that, and and I emphasize so hard with people that are like, yeah, but you know, that is not, it's not that great. You know, ChatGPT when it came out, the day that it came out, I started playing with it. I was like, oh, the potential, right? And a lot of people like needed some time. They needed GPT-4 to come out until they kind of like realized the potential there and to like translate. Oh, like wait, that's actually like really good. It's really good at this reasoning thing. Um, gave me two hours of writing, right? I mean, totally. Just and, like and AI art, same thing, man. AI art, like, okay, Mid Journey Free, well, it's like decent. It's like good, right? Mid Journey for like, wait a minute. Mid Journey Five is like, <gasps> Mid Journey Five started going viral, right? The, like, if you think about it, like Mid Journey Free was like interesting. Mid Journey Four was like, that's really good. Mid Journey Five, you have pictures of the Pope going viral because it's too good for like people to believe. My grandma approached me like, "Did you see that Pope picture? What is that? You, you <laughs> something with AI?" Yeah, yeah. Is it real? Did you think? Did, did it do it? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I think. I just, I, scary, yeah. But, yeah. So, and and that's the thing. Like people that that consume content like this at this point in time usually have that vision. You know, they understand mm-hmm. that. Okay, it's not everything it could be. But we are here for the ride because guess what's going to happen? Like usually would say in a year or two, but in, in the AI space, it's more like in a week or two. <laughs> but but yeah, man, so it's it's developing and I'm glad to see that you guys kind of understand that and that you're like kind of fully along for the ride. I mean, same thing for me and the community and the entire team. Like everybody's like, like this is it. This is yeah. like no matter what anybody tells you, um, this is this yeah. is kind of the wave that is going to affect the whole right. world. It's- I mean, I remember when it first came out, I was playing with it and I don't know which version version was it, but it was the earliest version. I was playing around with it. I just tried to generate like a stock image and it was the most horrendous imagery I've ever seen. I, I think I didn't sleep that night. But yeah, uh, our uh, yeah. people just saw it and was like, nah, man, this is this was around like for a while. You know, this is not going anywhere. But then it did a huge step forward and it was generating really like crisp images, really yeah. vibrant images of people, really like models and you know fashion yeah. stuff. And it was like, and then it started to like uh, pick up. Yeah, man. And it was, and it was that moment for me that I realized, oh, people don't really understand like long term things, how how no. technology could work in the long term, right? Yeah. Like for the same thing with VR, same thing with anything really any technological investment so exactly yeah it's really fascinating to me yeah so, and so it's uh, and i get it right people are busy people have problems like i get it like there's no there's no judgment in that i understand that perspective i'm just saying it's it's kind of cool to be amongst the people that are like you know they live a bit in the future um and a resolution is one of those topics i i think we touched on that briefly like the image is obviously coming at like a relatively low resolution right you can't really like blow i i tried to print some pieces actually even after upscaling them um and the ones that are like extremely detailed like in our mid journey resource we have this like one knight with like a metal armor with like uh, detailed engravings and everything and that really didn't print well on like a two meter large canvas 
but then another one which had kind of like a brush technique. Yeah. Beautiful. I actually have to share images of that. I put that in the office, in the office living room above the couch. It is mm -hmm. it is stunning because like the the technique kind of there's an imperfection to it, so you can really blow it up and it's still like it's still perfect. It looks like as intended. So but that brings me that brings me to the next topic. And I thought there was one thing in particular that you guys did recently. Like you keep you, you're kind of like me. You you keep just like exploring and like building and like, oh, let's do this and that. And as you're saying, like low-hanging fruit, like, oh, let's do it. Sleep and wake up with those thoughts. Yeah. How what are we not doing? What are where are we not poking the AI thing? You know, where or yeah. not AI. Yeah, you know, same man, same man. And then people are like, when do you sleep? It's like, I don't. <laughs> but the point it's is still up and sleep, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you guys did you guys did this Discord bot. And I thought this was so cool because it's like for, for anybody who doesn't know, like the way uh the way it all works is you Midjourney is mostly well. Midjourney is inside of a Discord bot, and then you generate the image. And if you want to actually sell the image, then the normal workflow would be, uh, you know, you you use Midjourney, you generate the image, you save it onto your local machine, you go to a website that upscales it, you upload it there, and then you pick the upscaling, then it does the thing, then you download it from there, then you go to like Adobe Stock, you you know, you log into your account, then you upload it there, then you do the keywording, you do the titling, you you like check all the boxes, all the disclaimers, you fill out everything. And if you want to do that for other sites, you gotta like do it in a different way. They don't all take the same set of tags. They take different formattings. They take different fields. Some of them require a category. Uh, some of them have. They all have different categories. So so you can't kind of just like copy paste everything across. But here's the thing. So you guys came in and, and like obviously your core business model is taking the second half uh, like away from the user. Like like just you know give us the image. We'll upload it. And um, we'll take a small, honestly, a small cut. What, what exactly do you guys take today? Percent. Yeah, like 15%. That, but, yeah. that, like that, honestly, that is. Uh, I mean, uh, we do our best with the metadata as well. I mean, we try to include as many keywords as possible, but we might not be as accurate as you would be. So we have this field, additional information field. So when you upload things, you can tell us what your vision was initially. So we can make sure to include that because yeah. we can't, read your mind, you know, and we don't know what, what you meant with this, yeah. especially with those abstract AI images. And you, we yeah. don't see the prompt yet, and we will see the prompt and we'll, you'll be able to sell, yeah. sell the prompt. Nice. Yeah. That's so, you know, so cool. So that brings you to two topics. First of all, kind of like what works and what images work, right? I want to talk about that in a second, because that's also the core topic of today's stream. But also secondly, kind of I just laid out the whole like process there, right? So so if you use Wirestock, obviously the second half, like you just upload it and you're done. No, you know, tagging, categorizing, uploading, managing all that. But then also secondly, you guys are developing this Discord bot. So legitimately that takes away even like all the, you don't even have to log in to Wirestock there, right? It's all inside of Discord. You set it up and it upscales and submits and that's it. Submit. So you generate an image and then you're like, generate with Midjourney bot, submit with Wirestock bot and it's like doop, done. Yeah, that's it. I thought it was done. really cool. Yeah. By the way, a little uh, teaser, I would say not a, sp yeah, teaser. We are developing our own upscaler because we are we were using a third party upscaler but we developed our own upscaler which uh, tremendously uh, uh, decreases the time needed to upscale the image tremendous by saying tremendously i mean 100 times like literally 100 times it takes a minute. it's gonna three three seconds maybe two seconds to upscale your image and upload on our platform it's gonna be way better looking because we trained it on specifically 5.2 model of Mid Journey. Okay. Uh, so everyone's going to be using that one, obviously. Uh, it's going to be way easier to do it. And we are also adding a feature to add in information. I mean, now you, you just can't do it. You just uh, make it and upload it. Now you can write something about it. Like, for example, oh, this is a coconut, not a, you know, uh, oregano or something like that. Uh, and then we know what to do with it. We know what. Uh, yeah. So what just making it as smooth it? as possible. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, okay. And yeah, that's it. Uh, well, one more thing I would like to add uh, with this. Uh, people are also like, you find it confusing a bit, especially people that have had no idea that stock agencies existed and you can monetize your art there and photos there. They are find they find confusing the property releases thing. So those agencies that uh, accept AI generated images, they need to know whether you use the real person or your uh, or a fictitious person. For example, if you yep. roll through a beautiful model in a, at the beach, you know something like that. So AI came up with the face, right? And 
agencies need to know whether AI came up with it or you just used, uh, you know, your girlfriend's face for that or your wife's face for that. So that's why you need to add the property release or model release, which um, kind of confusing because what really who's signing this? What, yeah. what, <laughs> what, what, what am I releasing? Right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't do anything. Yeah. So we are going to make it easier as well. And just it's going to be just like that. You're going to upload your images and don't worry about anything. So yeah. Super smooth. So so let's talk about let's talk about stock for a while. Chris, for anybody who doesn't know, I actually I'm a bit of a seasoned stock video seller myself. I've been selling stock videos since 2015, I want to say, or 16. It was like right at the beginning of my professional videography career that I had before the YouTube. Um, I was selling stock all the way next to it. I was I was selling on shutter stocks back in the day, story blocks. Um, I'm still selling on on um, Adobe stock and on Pond Five. As I said, my specialty was really like selling videos because that that was that was what I did. But yeah, man, I've I've been through the whole been through the whole process and I learned a thing or two. But before I share what I learned, before I shared share what what I learned, what works, I want to get mm -hmm. your take, like. You could generate li li with mid journey, right? You could lean back, close your eyes, and you could be like literally anything on planet Earth that exists or it doesn't right. exist. I could generate and then sell it, right? In your right, experience, you could, but it, you need that, to be yeah. Not everything is gonna work, right? What like how would you work. what what would you filter for? First, yeah. What works? What did I do that makes this image different? You know, what did it make? What does it make? Uh, what does it take me to write in the prompts to make it unique? You know, because everybody can do it. And like I said before, it's, they made it very easy. It's good. It's a good thing, I admit. But it's also bad in the from the business point of view. Because now, once you know, there's a really great quote uh, from the animated movie. I forgot the name. Uh, the guy goes, "When everyone's a superhero, no one's a superhero." So, when that. all the images are great, uh, there's gonna be a tough choice between between this great image or that great image. You have to find the uniqueness in your images. You need to yeah. find the selling point of those. You need to know photography techniques, angles, all those things. Because you can make a pretty image, but you, you need to invest in prompt in engineering to make a good selling image. Because yeah. that's what the agencies are going to use. That's why game companies are going to use it. That's why, you know, marketing agencies, all those agencies. I have friends that uh, develop games. They, are, they work in the gaming uh, industry and they really can't help but uh, not use the AI generation tools. For example, the Midjourney makes you know perfect concept art for their artists to make uh, characters on. Their their yep. marketing agents you know use it to make you know visuals for their mar you know socials and stuff. There are many many users uses of that and you can really uh, dive into it and find your thing. What what can it help you with? You know. So yeah. find, find, find the most unique thing, go to those agencies. I would just suggest, suggest for example, go to Adobe, find, uh, try to find something that you are trying to create. For example, uh, if you type in a lion in a business suit, you will find 10,000 images of a lion in a business suit because <laughs> once this thing blew up, we were getting that image and you know everyone was replacing faces with animals, especially with lions and tigers. Yeah, so don't don't do that. Don't create those kinds of kinds of images because yep. uh, that's not gonna be unique. That's not 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 gonna, not gonna uh, sorry not gonna uh, you know get the attention of the buyers. That's what I'm trying to say. So exactly. So you need a little bit of empathy when you're doing that. Yeah. And what you're saying exactly aligns what I learned. I, I, you know, I tried to like hack it. I was like, Ooh, maybe if I'm going to spend enough time on like the right like internet uh, corners of the internet, I'm going to find out what the thing is that sells. And then at a certain point, I, I realized once I learned a little bit more about the world, I was like, wait a minute. If somebody knows exactly what sells, they're going to be selling. They're not going to be writing up a, a, a blog post, right? YouTube works a little different than that because here, like, just sharing everything gets, like, super rewarded. But generally speaking, for something like small, like small opportunities, like selling a certain type of image, right? And I say small because if you have a really kick-ass video, you might make uh, tens of thousands of euros from that. But you're not going to, you know, you're, it's not going to, it's not going to, like, buy you a house, let's say, like a good video clip. I'm sure there's exceptions, but like, j just like that's kind of the top end of 
of it. So the people are just going to run with that. But what I learned over time is you're not going to be able to, to kind of find that. You have to f- use some good old-fashioned thinking and reasoning. And what well, I realized just- over time is it's the unique stuff. It's the stuff that you don't okay. run into. There, It doesn't yep. matter. You, you know, you take a pen. It doesn't matter in how many ways you photograph that pen. It doesn't matter if you upload a hundred or 10,000 images of that pen. It doesn't matter how you use the perfect, like, you know, hard backlighting that is hit off, you know, and then you use a soft box exactly from the top to get those diffuse, uh, you know, highlights. It, does, it, it doesn't matter. Everybody can photograph a pen and that's why that's never gonna work. But <coughs> if, you, if you can find those situations that are a little more unique, for example, you can see on Pond5 what trends, that's the one that I used a lot with the video clips, what trends, is the volcano eruptions, right? What trends is the the surgical images of like surgical equipment, right? Even though mm. they're like product shots, but that's the type of stuff that me and you, if we wanted to like, if we had like one hour to come up with uh, with images of surgical equipment, that would be really tough to do, right? You kind of need to get into a hospital, explain to them why you, okay. What? Uh, there, yeah. yeah, really hard. But if me and you wanted to get a drone image of a volcano eruption, that would be impossible to do, right? So the further out it is on the scale of uh, maybe I could do it to like, no, that's absolutely impossible. Yeah. If you're on this end of the spectrum, you have a winner. So, yeah. and that's why, and that's why today's challenge is all around a once in a lifetime moment, right? The title of the stream is AI art that sells. Well, guess what? Since half an hour, we've been generating AI art that could potentially sell because we're trying to generate unique images. So with that being said, check out my screen here and let's have a little look at what's going on in the Discord. Let's have a look at what the people have been generating, what they have been submitting. Um, Let's see, right here. We can go up here to the first to the Imagine channel. So this is just a free for all. People can just generate stuff. And this is their interpretation of AI art that cells right so let's have a let's have a quick peek at this ah, nice okay a bunch of him look at that 135 messages since you know 14 nice. minutes ago so there's a lot to look for so everybody can go in here and can check this out but let's just go slowly i mean that is uh this guy just discovered a castle that that's not bad like i'll just scroll through and and you say stop when one stands out to you let's see I mean, I really like the abstract images, you know, with uh, aliens and okay, you know, otherworldly well, sci-fi well, things, there. or maybe those really, really moments of solitude and like, you know, when you become one in nature. But it really get, have to be cinematic for me. Uh, I notice a lot cinematic. of people don't really gener- use the aspect ratios. Oh. I mean, okay, any preferences there? Uh, I like a 16 to 9 by myself. Like, I'm, you know, I'm a video guy. I just do 3, three to 2, and just the last could get to last. Okay. But I like the cinematic one as well, which we, which was 7, 4 or something. Okay. So so this is the, the this is the channel where people can generate stuff, right? Look at that. And Harry Potter having a once-in-a-lifetime experience. But if we go to yeah. submissions, this is this is kind of going to be the best off. So let's have a look at what's going on in here because this is kind of – there's 30 images in there here. Let's scroll through this. So I, I, look, Green Apache, good job already with the very first one. That is – that is a pretty once in a lifetime experience. But there's more. There's more. Ooh, that's a whale shark. All right, all right. That's cool. <laughs> Fellow divers out there, they know what's up. <gasps> oh, look at this one. That's kind of, that's strong. That yeah. is a once in a lifetime experience, right? This is, you're not going to see that twice. Last one. <laughs> Edit as well. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what? <laughs> this, is, this is pretty good. <laughs> At this one at the beginning. Oh, I'm gonna give that. Okay, okay, okay. This is <laughs> huh. guys. Okay, this is. I think this looks like photography, right? This is even a tw- 2021. Um, there you go. So some quality, <laughs> some serious quality in here. Look at that, guys. Okay. So definitely see some good ones in here. Keep submitting again. In about 20 minutes, we're going to circle back to this and we're going to judge this. We're going to pick my favorite, Eric's favorite, and the community's favorite. Okay? Oh, that is, that is kind of sad, honestly. Oh, good job, oh, Funk. What happened there? I yeah. would love for people to give context uh, to those as well, you know, like what went through their mind. 
can we see the prompts of these or so I we can see that we, we can look I, I don't think of all of them what we could do is if we like one we could you know search the server for example here oh. and then we could see you know he just submitted so um oh. i think oh. i agree oh. i think i would say i would give a higher chance of winning to the people that actually generated them in here because again at the end of the day this is all about learning it's all about sharing what we know um, and yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. And if if your image is uh, going to be generated in here, you're gonna have a higher chance of winning. I would say. Yeah. But that's really that's some impressive stuff. Look at that. These the space out here. Some coins. You have a polar bear. Well, that is that is a point of view that only happens once in a lifetime. That's that's true too. Are they dangerous though? I don't know. Are white bears? Are polar yeah, bears? are polar bears da as dangerous as like brown bears? I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> this is beautiful. I mean, for anybody saying that AI art doesn't have a soul, like just you know, just mm. view this picture. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's really. I mean, damn, look at the. They were. It was. It's getting the details on the baby really good. I mean, they don't look like perfect like that. You know, they kind of look smooshed when they just <laughs> newborn. So it's. Do you have, do you have really children? There. What? Do you have children? No, but I, I have seen children in okay. my lifetime. I, I have <laughs> seen I have seen children too, but I honestly like I not not sure how often I saw like small babies like that. It's not in my AI routine. That's not a that's not a common sight, except when, while I scroll through this channel of this. So this is yeah, this is some impressive stuff. I mean, uh, definitely some good ones there. Um, I'm excited to to kind of dive in. I, I I hope you took some mental notes here um, on on which ones stand out to you because there's gonna be a whole lot more coming in. We have like about right, like another 15 minutes for you guys to submit. Again, uh, the free best ones are gonna get hundred dollars each. You know we can PayPal it or, or whatever. We'll we'll manage that for sure. And then the free runner ups are gonna get 20 percent of the Wirestock Pro plan. So there you go. That, this is a beautiful one too. So cool. Yeah, very nice stuff, very nice stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little pointer. I mean, since we have so much, so little time left, I was going to say, I, I saw one with the skateboarder just doing a ollie or whatever. I remember. So, uh, you know what I would do here, uh, as I understand the challenge, I would do it like he's doing the trick out of the, you know, uh, skyscraper. So it's the one, <laughs> it's, it's the last thing that he's going to do, but it's the yeah. one in a lifetime. So, you know, because yeah. I really like that, uh, you know what's what's it called um, nuclear explosion kind of view so it was really good for me i mean uh, one of my favorites so far so yeah same 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 that's definitely one of the contenders up there uh, for anybody yeah so if you if you want a good inspiration then <laughs> there you go that's one um, this is really good i mean i love this i i would say i would say this though um uh, so brood here is running the challenge inside of the server so he's organizing it so we said he's the only one that is not able to participate so oh, it's a good submission yeah. but this it's not going to be this one so you know um sorry Brood. You guys, guys you guys can create exactly <laughs> that image and it will, it will be my favorites but I guess, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But yeah, some great ones in there. So, you know, I would say another 10 to 15 minutes to submit your best images. Ooh, look at that one. This is, this is kind of cool. This is nice. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. Anyway, so you can generate in here. You can submit up here. And yeah, that is, that is essentially that. Oh, wait. Ooh. All right. Oh, I just clicked this. So I prepared this nice little overlay. Check that out. So... Uh, you guys run creative challenges too, right? We wanted to point this out because it's so cool. If you want to earn money with AI art, look, there's free submissions here, 12 days left, but you can win $1,000 on this one. It essentially says, wait, I need to kind of like... <laughs> it essentially says, creative AI challenges, cinematic creature recast with theoretically media. <laughs> Another channel, we did a yeah collaboration with that. Also, yeah, we do those challenges, I mean, every week and a lot of people win a lot of money, a lot of cash prizes, a lot of rewards. So, yeah, that's one thing that we do. But um, I don't not. think that's a good incentive for people to keep, you know, submitting images. I, I think we should uh, what I want to, you know, deliver to people that are watching and are following us on and our users is I'm trying to tell them that we are trying to get some brand deals you know we are trying to get some gigs for them 
you know, for example, uh, some brand wants some images of, you know, new types of shoe that they are working on, and they yeah. may, maybe uh, the community can create some shoes for them, shoe, shoe designs, maybe yeah. clothing designs, that kind of thing. And we are really trying to get those deals for them. Okay. And that's, that's cool. A, can you can you do you have some do you have that, some story of an artist kind of kind of going in that or like? What? Sorry, I didn't catch do, it. Do you have do you have some story of somebody going through with that, or you are you guys helping out somebody? Like that? We see some examples in the gaming industry, but not in the like big giant uh, like companies, for example, Nike or but. But we are still uh, hopeful for that, and I think it's gonna catch up pretty soon. I think uh, those companies will uh, get on the wire as well, and yeah, they will be on on board with us. We are trying. It's gonna be um, really exciting for us because uh, there are a lot of people that want to create some they are like you know th there's this fashion designer who's never ever ever even logged into discord but now they have this tool they don't need to spend hours and hours of you know of their time to create something in the, in fashion in design they just can write and uh, you know generate a pro generate some images and then use those as inspiration and then yeah. spend like 10 minutes on it and then bam there they have their own product it's really going to pick up i think so yeah Nice. Yeah. A, a, a lot going on there, man. Like, like that's what I'm saying. There's so much to talk about, um, you know, um, and I love that you guys take the community approach too. I mean, you guys have a large community that goes at it all the time, that competes, that participates, that submits and all that. So that is also just beautiful to see. Um, but yeah, so we have, we have one topic which we wanted to touch on, um, which I personally really enjoy. And it's kind of that discussion of, you know, what makes a good AI, you know, you could, you could say AI artist or what, what creates a good AI prompt engineer? What, what, what makes a person that is able to get extremely aesthetic outputs, right? What, um, what separates those people? Um, and, oh, oh, <laughs> Brewer, what's up? I just said, Hello. okay, he just, he just hopped Hello. right in. And I wanted to bring bring our Discord uh, tournament leader here. So if you don't know, we have a mid-journey tournament uh, that is that is going on and starting this week inside of the Discord. And Brur here, uh, that's Swedish, by the way. You can also kind of call him Matthias if, or Matt if that's easier. <laughs> anyway, he has an extensive background in like you know uh, visual in like photography and video. And I just wanted to open this question up to the both of you, like. Tell me, like, what does a person need to study? What does a person need to get better at in order to create AI art? Except prompting. You want to start, Matthias? I mean, you have more I, experience. Oh, yeah, I can start as well. So it's, I think people that comes from the photography or cinematography side of um, art, basically, understands millimeters, for example, like lenses, how do, do different lenses work in a, uh, for focal length, for an example, yeah. or um, aspect ratios. So me, for an example, I love the aspect ratio two to one instead of 16 to nine. So it basically is pressed, uh, presses it to get her a bit more. But I think it's more actually looking at how photography and filming works to use that strength in the prompting yeah. uh, to not talk more about prompting, but it's like it gives you a deep understanding of how um, how art works and how mid journey basically things. So the more you understand the art concepts, it can be paintings, it can be mediums, which would translate to watercolor, graphite colors, how how people paint or use different topics for mediums. Is the more you understand it, you can basically translate that to mid journey better or any other generative AI. Couldn't agree anymore. Right. I mean, you said it best, man. I, I really don't have much to add. Really, you if you have the initial knowledge of photography, if you have the initial knowledge of, you know, how compositions work, how, you know, color coherence work, how aesthetics work of the image, how you, you know, the focus, the shallow depth works and that kind of things, it's really gonna boost you in your productive you know journey in mid journey you're gonna be way more in ahead of other people who are just starting you if you have that in your mind if you have the initial image in your mind and you have the you know proper knowledge of prompt writing you have you know the english is up there you know you know how to uh 
mention the correct camera model even like the lens model the lens i mean settings and all those things it's it's really it really helps so yeah. you can use chat gpt in that but yeah it's 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 not gonna it, it doesn't think you know a lot of people are under mis, um, misconception that ai thinks things it doesn't think it just have the data that you must use to you know to give it to to give it to it and then it will use it to again use that data to give it what you want so it doesn't it will not know what you mean it doesn't think it just will it will use the knowledge yeah. that already exists so yeah so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i would i would okay so on the on the chat gpt and prompting and everything I, I would say if you're extremely precise and leave no room for interpretation in your input mm -hmm. You yeah. also ca you can use the full depth of its ability and the full knowledge of the internet and and its ability to reason. So yes, it can't think, but it can reason. It's it can be reasoned with very well. So if you know how to command it, it will obey, right? But with Midjourney, it's a little different, right? You kind of you can't just say you know generate a peeling lighting prompt for me, you know, and, th and then it's gonna do that. But you really need to understand what, for example, three-point lighting is. You need to understand what Rembrandt lighting is. You need to understand the different qualities of light at the very basic level, right? Like hard light versus diffuse light. Like what happens if you position the light above something uh, as opposed to in front? Like right here, I have, a, um, I have a book lighting going on where I blast a Fresnel into the wh white wall and then I have a big diffuser where it comes onto me. That's why it's like a two square meter area that is lighting me up. That's why it's so soft and regular. You need to understand understand these things in order for you to put them into your prompt because if you're just going to be sitting there like uh you know sunlight uh okay uh bright day then it's going to do that but you might not want sunlight bright day because that's a light source yeah, from above that is hard of talent, right, right yeah so yeah and, tip and of the day that doesn't really matter i mean it will not take it into consideration what i mean what kind of light it is or what kind of reflection there are what kind of lens it is and mirrorless or with mirrors and kind of thing they don't think it matters, but it really does. If you try to try to change, like try to fine tune your prompts, like if you have a prompt this long and you fine tune just a few things, you will see how much of an impact it have on your. Yeah, image, and, your and I've seen this. I've seen this on Twitter too. People are like, oh man, it's like, it's such a, like all these people saying that uh, the, the lens really matters that you pick. It's not true. It's like, and then you go into my journey and you're like, you switch out a Otus lens for like a Batis lens, like both from Zeiss and it's, it's different. And I know the characteristics of those lens and it's just, it's different. So I, I, I don't know where those arguments come from. I mean, maybe if the prompts are too long. There's really, really, sorry, I interrupted. There's this really, really fine line there. It's different to you because you know, know, you know your stuff, right? It's not different to them because they don't know it, right? They will not know the difference between a, great photo uh, photography and good photography right that's why they need to learn photography that's why i was uh, always yeah i always uh, uh, <laughs> i also want to add something about this i'm going to give my superpower uh prompt into the youtube chat now and yeah. people can play about with it the last 10 minutes or if it's five minutes yeah. and it's the best way i've i've found to create actual cinematic shots so what mid journey does when you people like oh they want to create realistic realistic photos they write realistic right it's logic but the thing is that, that mid journey understands realistic uh, in another way as it's trying to make something that's unrealistic too realistic yeah. and it's not gonna look like it yeah. so uh, when you write cinematic still it's like oh i should do this like a movie and then it becomes realistic instead so it, i would tell people to also research how to use different mediums and words and start to understand how mid journey weighs, weighs the words. Mm -hmm. And now you can yeah. actually use a shortened command to see what a it actually uh, reads through and weighs, weighs in the prompts yeah. as well. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So thanks for sharing, uh, sharing that. I think the cinematic still, did you use that on the grandma with the explosion? Yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. So yeah, there, uh, and I'm I'm so glad. Also, this was like yeah, that's it's like it's like totally unscripted. We just like scrolled through, and Eric was like, "Hey, wait, that one's really good." I even didn't yeah. see that it, that it's from you. <laughs> yeah, man, but, wasn't. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, I'm telling you, there's a, there's a reason uh, I picked Brewer to lead the tournament and everything, like the image journey yeah. tournament. He knows his stuff. He has the background, and and yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to pop into the Discord at any time. You can ask him. We all hang out there, and we're gonna help you with your stuff. Thank you so much for coming on, man. And then yeah. Yeah, good luck uh, kind of organizing the, the rest of the competition in there. Um, all right. Then then it's it's back to the two of us. Um, and yeah, th so that's that's a really interesting discussion, man. So tip of the day, I mean, if you want to get better at AI arts, take a little photography course. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to help. Composition is another one, but I think lighting is the biggest one there. Lighting is the biggest. Well, not necessarily photography course. Maybe you want to create illustrations, take a painting lesson. Yeah, no sure. problem lesson. Just true. like that. So, yeah. True, true. Learn, learn about, uh, learn about visuals. Okay, so that's cool. So we're approaching kind of the the end here. I mean, we can easily go a bit over an hour, like like no no problemo there. But I think it's kind of time to start looking at um sure. at the Discord and start looking at what the people generated here. So yeah, for anybody that tuned in throughout the last twenty minutes, we. Don't just have a live stream and a discussion about AI art going on. We also have a competition inside of the Discord. There's two channels. I know I'll switch that so everybody can can be on the same page here. There's really two channels. Okay, one of them is submissions and one of them is imagine. Here people are generating AI art. Okay, and in this one they're submitting it. So what we'll be judging from is essentially this. Okay, we're gonna be judging this channel. So. I think I'm just gonna start slowly scrolling from the top, and and you can go there yourself um, on your own on your own machine, right? But I'm just gonna, gonna be going through these and like kind of like opening up some that stand out to me. I mean, really, the first one here from Green Apache right away is just very. This is a, this is a very strong one. I'm not sure what's going on in the background, but I really enjoy it. And by the way, guys. Uh, anybody who doesn't know, we also do competitions like this inside of our Discord regularly. You just have to check the events tab at the top. And we do this. We do live events where, where you can submit. There's prizes. There's, there's people hanging out. And then we judge the images and say what we like, what we don't like. Just like we are now. So, for example, this scuba diver. Oh, thank you, Red Jack, for, uh, for adding the prompt. That is, oh, my God. We really appreciate that. Look, a scu that's, scuba yeah, diver. That's what I was saying. Yeah, if you add a little context to it. Nice, Go nice, ahead. nice. It's it's much appreciated. So if you want to be a runner-up for one of the top ones, you yeah, submit your prompt. We really appreciate that. And look, he's using 4K resolution Nikon VS yep, FX with the with 5.2 and the 4 to 3 aspect ratio. As a yeah, I I by the way, um, I don't think I ever mentioned this, but I have like. I have like 65 uh, dives under my belt, so I'm a, I'm a certified advanced open oh, water diver all over nice. Egypt, all over Egypt, man, all over yeah. Egypt. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. So this is the cinematic still technique we talked about. This is an insane one. This is like legit. This would be one of the favorites for sure. But hey, so we can't make the the moderator win here. I <laughs> this takes yeah. the prize for the funniest <laughs> one. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> okay. So again, the, the, the theme is once in a lifetime moment. So keep that in mind. I mean, Elvis here for the Elvis fans would, would kind of, you know, check that box. <laughs> we have a little dinosaur here. Okay. We have a conversation with an AI. Okay. Okay. I wonder what uh, Hero Dendron's prompt was. I mean, what's going on in here? <laughs> Man, if you wanna if you wanna share this prompt, we would all appreciate it. Trust me, all 150 people in chat would appreciate hearing how how you got to this result. I, I, me especially, I wanna yeah, I wanna end the stream and, and prompt some of this. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. yeah, feel free to share that. Um, all right, some nice landscapes, but yeah, they're very aesthetic, but not exactly once in a lifetime. This is more once in a lifetime, right? By yourself out there, seeing the northern lights. This one is very, oh, look, we get the prompt too. This is perfect. Thank you so much for adding this, guys. This makes it so much better. A person in the dock standing in the aftermath of a flood surrounded by debris. The person is crying, their tears falling freely, and the dog is licking their hands, offering its unwavering support and love. Wow. It's really good. Yeah, that's that's a really good one. <laughs> Once in a lifetime moment, really. <laughs> a bunch of rocks in, in Paris. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, yeah, I've seen this so many. I mean, 
Oh, this this user is from our other Yeah, I recognize this image. Ah. I've seen this on our Discord. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks for thanks for submitting, everybody. I mean, we tr we truly appreciate the participation. Look, another cinematic still. This is what Brewer was talking about. You can instantly tell that this was yeah made by a you know advanced user because the you know the angle and the you know ratio and all those things just make sense in the shot. You know, so. Yeah, again, proving the point. That okay. You need to learn. Ah, okay. There, there's a there's a comment in uh, on YouTube. Good point. So CM is saying, I just discovered that you have to click open all channels to get the same screen as Igor. Yeah. So just click open all channels, and and you you will see see all the channels. You can check out all the submissions here, and um, yeah, these very advanced technique. Also, Brur, uh, don't forget to share that. Prom oh, you have it. It's actually here. Right here. So wait, I'll just kind of like move this over. This is the prompt that generates the cinematic images. So cinematic still, comma, produced by, and then you insert your uh, director's name, then you insert the scene, then you insert the lens and any additional parameters. So this is really easy to fill in actually. You know, you just pick a director you like. Here you have a short description. So this is where your prompt would go. Just insert scene, right? Like the description of what you want to generate then add a lens and some additional parameters and off you go. You're getting uh, this quality out of Midjourney right away. Very yeah. nice, very nice. Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely bookmarking some favorites in my head here. We have this little baby here. That's a, that's a good one from Freya, Freja. Very nice. This is very apocal apocalyptic, this one. Okay. What, what is, is, that, is that a meteorite or something like? Kind of, right? Yeah. This happens yeah. once every 75 years. You want it wider? <laughs> yeah, it's a meteorite, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that, that's uh, that's a pretty good one. Oh, <laughs> that's a one, I guess. Anybody know if polar, be polar bears are dangerous? For, like, do they attack humans? I don't know. If yes, I, I mean, then... they would if you, like, misbehave near them, I, right? I guess I wouldn't <laughs> want to be in a, locked in a room with a polar bear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Living in Central Europe, I can confirm these are very, very dangerous, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> this, <laughs> but it's a, but it's a long there, lens. But it's a long lens, so I, I wouldn't say this is once in a you know, ah, it's once in a lifetime because you're seeing bears having fun. Yeah, that that does qualify. I agree. I agree. It's good. This is epic. Batman, good job. It's epic view. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, we have this. Mystic coming in with that spiritual angle. Nice. Is it like a once in a lifetime experience when you do some hard <laughs> questionable substances? I, guess That's I, what I, I, like, I like how you call them hard questionable substances. Well, I, yeah, don't, I, I don't know. I don't want to, you know. No, no I, think, I think that's a once in a lifetime moment. Yeah, I, I don't think those repeat sure. very often. Um, they're pretty unique, mm. I've heard. Um, oh, okay. I like this one by X, Explode. 1989 oh oh the the hiker on the trail here this is this is this is this is a uh, atmosphere to it right yeah really good lighting i mean yeah kind of victorious All right. All right. you know posing hmm. okay hmm. so actually now that we don't have don't have the uh the votes on here i would say brur uh, as the leader of kind of the Discord like competition, uh, you will get to pick. You will get to pick the third uh, third winner. So so have a look through that, and you know, pick your own one and 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 come up with a good argument because I'll definitely be asking. Um, ooh, this is I don't know what this is, but this did catch my attention. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, whoa, indeed. Oh, and then on the same note, again, uh, I see where this guy's coming from. <laughs> what I was saying for I think yeah 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 yeah, yeah we, we get a lot of these like hikers and, and castles and like ex I like it because you experience the scene through the eyes of this subject right hmm. I think I have a favorite for now uh, the one okay. by Hope for Atlantis the second submission like okay. those spores and mushrooms playing a piano is like a huge different thing but this one alien creature playing drums like oh, wait a minute feature. i think you're you're further along than me oh 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 the alien creature playing this is right here okay you're a little ahead of me that is 
That one is really cool. I agree. This one is very printable. You know, I always like the images yeah. when they're like, I would love to have this on my wall, and this one I would love to have on my wall. There's this pink aesthetic, which is also always nice. And all right, okay. all right. So we have we have a favorite here. So you know, keep submitting, keep submitting. I would say we're gonna wrap this up in the next like five minutes. Easy, mm -hmm. like we're on no like fixed schedule here, but you know, it's not gonna go on forever. So last i would say last of three minutes to submit your images submit them now or, or we're gonna like cut it off and judge on top of this i also have like for me i have like two favorites in my head um <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> damn that's really good though wow. that's really good yeah wow that's like a flamingo creature oh wow, these are really sad like the god damn i'm not sure what this one is about <laughs> it's probably not which one? Oh, well, something happened. Sorry, something <laughs> happened. We don't know what. Okay, I think I have a winner for me. Okay. On my side. Okay, I, I need to. Okay, so I'm going to yeah. speed up a little bit, but I need to, like, look at the entire chat here. I don't want to. I definitely want to see all of it. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this one. Look at this one. This tornado. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. Reflections and stuff. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay okay let me see what else Ooh, this is cool too whoa this is epic okay oh so it's straight from a video game or something yeah, yeah. Really okay a lot of oh have you seen this one by neck or Na nace uh, i don't know if i pronounced it here the the moons the the uh pyramid and the sphinx uh, covered in ice and snow oh, have wait, you seen that see, one let me see Whoa, until the that's insane. Pyramid and no, I'm I think I haven't. Oh. I think you missed it if you go up a bit. Okay, okay, let's do that. Titanic, more. the whale, diving pigs. Oh, 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 thanks it's for that one. Oh this one, this wait a minute. Interesting. This, no, you're thanks it, for pointing my attention to it because this is like you're not gonna you see. Would never, but imagine if you would see this, like it would be a once in a lifetime. No, you make right. a good point. This hits and the it, theme perfectly. Yeah. It, and it's realistic. I mean, this could happen with all the global warmings and natural stuff. Yeah. Like I agree. Yeah. It's still yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, good. Thanks for pointing that out. I agree. So I'm really good at this one, it's really cool. Really aesthetic, flooded subway tunnel. Mm. Wow. God. Whoa. Some really good stuff in here, guys. Some really good that's, stuff in here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Like, uh, oh, that's kind of, that's just wholesome. I love it. Yeah. Stuff that's just wholesome sick. that happens. It's, <laughs> yeah. yeah, in a balloon. Yeah. All right. Some good stuff. Yeah. Ooh. So, I'm leaning more on the realistic side, like, this could happen, like, right now, if we. Oof really tried i mean yeah so oh look at this one just the style the style of this one well that's really aesthetic yeah, like really aesthetic hates, hates killing it as always huh. really good. oh here you have the cinematic stills after brewer spilled yeah. the tips yeah, like here they're coming in <laughs> yeah. oh that wow really yeah look at this one imagine driving this so it'd be awesome <laughs> Wow. Okay. This is that, oh, some. This is gonna be hard to decide. Yeah. Now I have like five I, favorites I, in my every head. Every time we do the challenges, I, I have to pick the nominees. I mean, with the help of other reviewers and maybe other people as well, and our community. And it's always the, the hardest part of my job on that day because there's so many good submissions that I always struggle. I can't imagine. To. Yeah. Can't imagine. Damn. So that's. Yeah. So I really like, have you seen this selfie with the what, what's it called? with the uh, shark. shark? Yeah, 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 I was just opening that. Rendered. Yeah. yeah. Really, yeah, this is a shark selfie, something that that's like spot on too. Definitely up there. A spaghetti yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good really though. good. Yeah. Man, there's like, there's too many good ones here. What do you guys think? What does the chat think? Like, what are your favorites? Just like... Post your yep. favorite in chat, you know, just say the name. Like, is it the spaghetti car? Is it the grandma with the explosion, with the with the bomb going off? Is it the selfie with the shark? <laughs> what do you guys like? 
I'm curious to hear. Maybe my opinion is going to get swayed by the chat, but that's okay. That's fair enough. You guys matter. So I think we're wrapping it up here. I think we're going to we're going to cut off submissions right here. I'm just going to finish scrolling. We have these we have uh, yeah, a lot of these going on when we express that we like it. Yep. I noticed this book. <laughs> yeah. So I have wait one two three. Yeah, submissions I have are six over. Submissions are over. So I'm trying to pick the best one. There's yeah, I have I have four. God damn it! Mm. But I think, I think I'm leaning towards one. No, I have five. Sorry, yeah. I have five. So the challenge is once in a lifetime moment. Feel free to leave your favorites. Is it the shark? I see some shark comments here in chat. Is it the shark? People like the shark. People like the shark, definitely. It's, it's in my nomination, so... Mm. Time to remember, you said photo. No, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the live stream, I even typed it out. It's just once in a lifetime moment, not photography. It can be a photo. It can be a photo. So yeah. I think Eric said he likes he likes photos and he prefers, like, like he's going to look at the technical ability and everything, but that doesn't mean yeah. it's, it's only photos. It's yeah, yeah. Photo, yeah. Wait, so I think it's scrolled up a little bit here. All right, so wait. Ooh. If you look at the shark one, by the way, in close up, and you can see the you know yeah. reflection of the person and the shark in up there in the water surface, like that's uh, that's what happens when you like have a splash and they, they you get this kind of distortion if you take an underwater shot, I think at least. So, and it, it has this really smooth, like fisheye kind of feeling to it. If okay. You look at the edges. It's really good. I mean, I'm really leaning towards this one. So. All yeah. right. So, I mean, we looked for the whole thing, guys. I see a lot of. I see spaghetti car in here. I see shark in here. The pink whale. <laughs> you like my yeah. robot, Eric? Which one is? Which one is? What's your? Uh, check the resolution. Okay. Okay. Let's check the resolution here. Yeah, that's extremely sharp. Did you? Yeah. You did some some post processing magic on this one. Yeah, yeah. It's very very good. Very good. Good upscaling there. Um, I think it's a it's a good point that it's 8K. Yeah, I think it's a good point that the end of the worlds uh, kind of hit the hit the topic perfectly. Oh, this one is really good too. Look at that. Oh yeah. A base What's jumper. It? Is that a yeah? It's really cool as well. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. All right, so I would say, you know, I think it's time. It's time to pick some winners. Spaghetti car. <laughs> okay, we have these explosions. People love the spaghetti car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is understandable. That is understandable. So the way we're gonna do this is, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do a final a final uh, little wrap up here, Eric. A lot of great yeah. submissions, but only one can win. Actually, you can have two. You can you can have a winner and you can have an honorable mention, you know, first and second place. So again, winner gets $100. Second place gets 20% off the Wirestock Premium plan. What is your pick? I think I'm going to go with the selfie with the shark, but not this one that you're on. The one like below. That. There was another one below, right? Yeah. All right, more I think more with splashes, yeah. I think and it's, that's hard one, to argue with. Yeah, I'm fine and the quick. runner up for that is gonna be the Sphinx and the what's it called? The pyramid covered in snow. It really okay. caught my attention like that, so okay, <coughs> yeah. I mean, if I had more time, I would go, I would choose nice. So we need to, okay, okay, wait. Yeah. I need to, I need to, it's kind of hard to locate amongst, amongst all these. But I believe it was rendered, right? That got the the shark, if I'm not Reverend mistaken. It's called R three V three Reverend. Okay. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I think Reverend. I think he's a I think he's a coder and and that is rever yeah it's oh. Reverend yeah, 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 yeah there you go yeah, so I can just look for the stuff ah it's it's this one right it's it's the one this right here so this is yeah. winner winner number one of of today's competition all right so all right. I, I like this idea. There's an idea of letting the community pick. So I would say post your favorites in chat in the next 20 seconds and the most mentioned ones 
are going to get voted on, okay? And then we're going to run a one-minute vote on top of that, and that's going to be winner number three, community winner. Let's do it that way. I, I think I love that idea. That's a really good idea, cool. Reverend. So, Reverend, winner number one, and then the Snow Sphinx, uh, runner-up second place. So... Man, just feel free to feel free to uh, DM me on Discord. We're gonna get you your money um, for myself. Okay, so the Sphinx is somewhere. This is gonna be really tricky to find everything. But I remember the the Sphinx. Mm -hmm. I also wanna I also wanna click on it and show it off to everybody. But I think I have decided here. Nak Nak with with place number yeah, two. Yeah. Nak, feel free to also yeah. DM me on Discord um, or or just leave your credentials in any of the chats our mods are gonna pick them up knack second place good job okay so here's my pick here's my pick so this was definitely hard this was definitely yeah. hard i think before i give my de decision we're gonna start the we're gonna start the community vote here um so you guys have a bit of bit of time to vote community uh favorite okay so first of all i think spaghetti car um <laughs> It's Definitely just, let's see, if that's a fan favorite, you don't see that every day. Spaghetti car will be one option. Uh, we have mountain hiker. I believe you mean the one by Explode, the one we highlighted, right? Um, I believe that one was really epic where he was like on that ridge, like going to the, so yeah. mountain hiker. Um, that would be number one. And what else? What else? Uh, facing the T-Rex. In, the, uh, in an airplane or something. I missed it, but I tried to find it. It was really good as well. Again, what was okay. that? Jumping out of airplane? No, 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 point of view shot of someone like diving, doing doing a dive in a plane, something in the mountain, ah, something like that. The, yeah, yeah, like uh, the skydiver, right? The orange skydiver. Was no, that? No, no, no airplane? there was a point of view, like from a pilot's perspective, he was like doing a dive from from inside the plane cabin. You know, mm. I'm trying to find. Okay, it. it's right. yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe if you can help me locate that. Mm -hmm. um, there's really a lot in here, man. And then what else? What do we have? T-Rex, Little Man Silhouette, Mother and Baby. Mother and Baby is like, I, I'll add Mother and Baby. I think that's a, that's a really strong one. Um, okay, we can do more options. No problem. Um, let's see. What else? Jumping off a hill by Outlaw. Um, anybody else down for that? So I see that one time. Mountain hiker, yeah, we, we had mountain hiker. Skydiver, uh, skydiver over Dubai. Hope for Atlantis' submission. The oh, so the skydiver was also uh, reverent, so so we won't add oh, that one. Yeah, okay, then. Doesn't work like that. Um, uh, can you find the Hope for Atlantis' one? The guy playing drums in a pink. Uh, uh, yeah, Hope for Atlantis, for sure. I think the search function here is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, 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 I agree. Okay, okay. Alien on drums. So, guys, we have four options here, okay? Mm. Poll is running. You have, you have two minutes to decide to vote on this. Okay, there's four options. We have one, the spaghetti car, right? We have two. We've all seen the spaghetti car. It's epic. <laughs> spaghetti car got the first vote. Then we have the mother and the baby. We have the mountain hiker. And we have the alien on drums that you can see right here. While this goes on, um, I'm going to go ahead. And I would love to show all of them. But I, I should have actually saved them on the desktop. But um, you guys have seen them. You, you're here for the stream, right? I can see the retention is extremely good. Most people that were here half an hour ago are still here. So you guys have seen these images. Um... And you can quickly vote. So, mm -hmm. I have a favorite. I have a favorite. I got to say, let me just locate it quickly. Let me just locate my personal favorite here. That is going to be my winner. <laughs> Who can guess it? Who can guess it? There's a, I think it's guessable. <laughs> I really like a particular one here. Um, let's see. It's not the spaghetti car. <laughs> it's, it's the it's the, yeah it's the apocalyptic cat i love yeah, how yeah. you kind of like take in this this scenery kind of like you know i don't know end of the world i guess through the cat i think it's, it's even, so dramatic, and this is what a cat would do i, I imagine right yeah in a way <laughs> like, like <laughs> just, legit just and and you know when i look at this i i picture myself 
kind of standing there and, and then looking at the scene and then looking at the cat and, and kind of, even if I was there in person, I would see this image through the cat's eyes. I think it adds so much to have the cat in this one. And I don't know, look, I think it's aesthetic, it's beautiful, but this one just like resonated with me personally. This one kind of hit a chord. So I'll, I'll pick the post-apocalyptic cat as a once in a lifetime moment. Um, and yeah, also like I'll say this, like, you know, like what sells? It's unique stuff, right? But um, mm -hmm. what also sells is things that documentaries and, and news shows can show off. And with like sure. some of the yeah. conflicts going on in the world, I can see this being something that a blog post would use, that a news station would use as a kind of a header, that a news article would use um, to kind of, you know, show off, show off that. So there's also that angle. I might be wrong. Um, Eric Aleman agrees that he likes this choice. <laughs> That's his kitten. <laughs> so Diego Suarez, my man, you can shoot me a DM. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you a quick DM here. I usually never DM, but, but there you go. You have a quick DM. You can send me your PayPal details. We'll get that money over to you. Um, and I would say as an honorable mention, as a rank two, uh, my pick goes towards this one. It was, it was up here. So the community votes are, ooh, it's very close actually. Alien on drums is leading with 30%. Spaghetti car at 22%. Ooh, that's, that's might not make the cut, but I think Alien on Drums is, is a good one. Um, my honorable mention. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to give it to the Alien on Drums, but it looks like it's winning. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Guys, another, another 30 seconds. Uh, Igor has a thing for cats. Yeah. I do have a thing for cat, uh, for cats. An allergy. That's what I. <laughs> I'm slightly <laughs> allergic, but I love them. They're so cool. They just they don't care. You know they do their thing. So uh, look at the new images sent. Yeah, but we we cut off the competition like 15 minutes ago. We were like submissions until nine, and then we went 10 minutes over nine. So I'm happy to look at them, but um, it's it's a little too late. Oh, um, sorry for that. So let's see. Alien on drums leading with 29. percent So this is. Whew, hope for Atlantis. This is looking good for you. I would say let's do a final 10-second countdown. Every, anybody that hasn't s voted and anybody that hasn't liked the video, go do that first. There, there. Go, go like the video. That, it's, it's, it's a click of a button and it really helps out. Go do it. I've done it. Good. Now let's get back to it. So final five seconds of the voting. Alien on drums leading. Okay, I know this is a really long 10 seconds, but 29%. Any more votes? Okay, free... Two, one, and Alien on Drums it. wins it. And I, and I couldn't be any happy with this being the third winner. This is epic, man. Hope for Atlantis. Good job. Wait, wait, wait. I even had one of these, one of these like fake applause things on here. Let's make use of that for the first time ever. Um... <laughs> yeah, man. Good job. Hope for Atlantis, you won. Um, uh, so all the winners, feel free to DM me and we'll get the money over to you. So second place here would be the Mountain Hiker by Explode. 20% of the Wirestock Premium Plan going to Explode. And last thing that is missing here is my honorable mention, my second pick. So I was really looking at that alien on drums, but I, I'm going to go with Ascended Creations, man. Ascended Creations. This is a strong one. I feel like this is even something a news station could use if a tornado is coming in um, or like a, like a magazine or something. This is a once-in-a-lifetime situation and I like the cinematic quality. Um, yeah. It's really good. Yep. It's a really good image. Nice, uh, wet road. Yeah. Really there, good. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Uh, Eric Aleman saying cats sell. Yeah, I, I hope so. They're, they're mm -hmm. certainly epic. They make for great. They do? You confirm? So there you go. That's the, that's the secret of yep, the day. But <laughs> if you upscale them good enough, don't, don't, get, yeah, don't get your hopes up with those. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Good night, everybody. Uh, good day, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. So let me wrap this whole thing up. So we have our six winners. That was a lot of fun. Just to remind you, uh, we do a session like this every Sunday inside of our server and you can collect points for the yearly tournament where we give out larger prices and you can collab on merch, etc. So if you enjoyed this format, you're going to enjoy that. Check out Wirestock. Check out their challenges. They do the same thing, but with an even bigger prize pool. You get to, uh, you get to win $1,000 every two weeks. Is that correct? Is it every two weeks? 
It's every two weeks. Essentially. So there's a new theme. And every two weeks we announce the winners. There yeah. are AI challenges, photography challenges, soon video challenges maybe as well. So yeah. We'll so see. so right here you can you can check out uh you can check out their wire stock challenges over here um and and yeah with that being said i mean hey thank you so much for participating thank you for so much for coming on eric i mean we discussed all the way from mid journey to like what to do in ai art what you guys are doing what company uh, what direction you're taking the company into you have you have the new bot launching uh, you, you're doing all kinds of things with, with prompt marketplaces and helping your community out just like we are. Um, I'm so glad we got to do this. I'm so glad we got to look at some AI art together. I hope this was educational. We gave out some tips here and there about, you know, get better at photography, etc. Some people made money. I think this was a great session. What do you make of it? It's very fun, yeah. Thought I thought this would go worse. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, look, I appreciate the honesty, man. Um, I actually, if I, if I had better timing, I would have done this right after. No, it was really fun, really educational for me as well. I mean, I learned yeah. a lot of things from Matthias as well. Yeah, really fun. Really nice missions, guys. Congrats to the winners. All right. Oh, by the way, feel free to reach out to me as well if you have any questions like what to upload. Do we have any guidelines as well? I'm always available. Well, I never sleep, as you yeah. can tell, probably. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, guys, so, so much. We're we, we we on the same wavelength there. Also, one thing that I want to uh, shout out, like we did a blog article. Uh, it's a mid-journey beginner guide. So if, you, if you're just new to this, we put together all the resources, everything we care about for free. There's some prompting tips in there. Yeah. You can find that under myaiadvantage.com slash articles. It's the newest one. It's a mid-journey's beginner guide. Some people would sell that as an ebook. We just give it out. So if you're, if you're beginning, join, you know, like go into the service, use Blue Willow, use mid-journey learn about photography meet people that do the same thing learn from them use the techniques that you picked up today get better you're going to be able to use these skills forever if you learn prompting you're going to be able you're like prompting is not like engineering like code right it's about communicating better it's about becoming clear on what you're looking to achieve and finding the right words to achieve it with art it's a little bit of a different story than chat gpt it's a conversation you know nutshell i guess yeah. with ai it's a, it's a conversation and you just keep going back and forth you'd say something you get a result and then you get to rephrase it as often as needed trial and error yeah. so you know participate in the competitions submit your ai art uh, learn from the community and don't forget to have fun while you're doing it as we did today thank you so much everybody thank you so much eric this was a fantastic session i couldn't be any happier that we did this and yeah i hope you have a great wednesday Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.